All right, so welcome. This is uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, I'm really excited to be playing this new game uh, that I haven't played before. Uh, and we'll, we'll see how this goes. My, uh, my, so my review of Mass, Mass Effect Andromeda is um, that it had a lot of potential. I liked sort of the, the character creation element of it, um, but it felt kind of unfinished. Uh, like I was, I was just starting to cover, so I don't really know why development time was so long. Cause I, I my, my play time was like, like I beat it in like 20 minutes. So kind of disappointing, I think, especially for a triple A game. Oh yeah. So I'm also, uh, I, I'd also like to, uh, submit myself for the Mass Effect Andromeda speed run. What is, let me see what the Mass Effect Andromeda speedrunning record is. Um, Earl, okay, so Earl, the speedrunning record the is 2 club. hours and 18 minutes and 27 seconds, Boulevard. and I Sounds destroyed like that time. Piece. I Two like not not even halved it. I like completely leapt morphine. over that hurdle. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big. Yeah, all you need yesterday. to do is is exploit. Like like I, I guess I can only uh, submit threats. myself for like bug categories. We didn't get all of it. Um, but with bugs, I can clear the game really fast. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing right now. I was not listening to them. Um, so I can nail that son of a bitch. God damn it. Just can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. Even you, Phelps. Okay. So we got demoted, I think. I think we got demoted. That's the cop. Out of the car, police. I find one goddamn ding. Oh, we're already tracking this. Okay. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a turn. Excuse Christ! Me. Excuse me. Thank you. Wait, are they playing a different movie? No, no, they're still playing the lady from Shanghai. Never mind. What are you doing? I, I thought this would count as making it to our destination already, but I guess not. Oh, okay, so this is the club. Inside. So this is when we're going to get introduced to the person that he is maybe committing Bukowski. adultery with, even though Phelps, back we again. just are never going to we'll explore the, the subplot. Morphine. Over by the bandstand, you can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick, 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. The waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Vic. Bo. Get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer OD. Don't tell me. Vermont and Tyree, we've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> wow. Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. Don't be too excited, Stefan. We haven't agreed to having thirds. Stefan is so much better than Roy. No, he absolutely is. Just 
Speaking of thirds, I was invited to a a, a six sum today, which was um, a surprise. Also, COVID. <laughs> I mean, uh, there are many many things are, are are going into my reaction to that, but but also COVID. Whoever's my invite. <laughs> I, I don't know if you're the type of person they were looking for. Yeah, don't they know that you're more comfortable if I'm around? <laughs> I think it was the other way around. I think you're more comfortable if I'm around, apparently. <laughs> I don't think I'm I don't think I'm the target in that situation. I mean, that would be like a fun reunion question. Uh, like, hey, I haven't seen everyone in like, uh, in like eight years. Um, actually, wait, no, it'll, it'll be 10 years. I forgot, I forgot what, what my age is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know, I'd been thinking about uh, our, our reunion. I hadn't thought about it for a little bit, um, but uh, but I was thinking about like, oh god, it's next year. So, so theoretically, it's next yeah, year. New source. Uh, this is coming from what's left in circulation. Not sure what's gonna go on with that. It'll be interesting, because uh, part of the reason I've been keeping tabs on that, and this is such like a, a minor petty thing that wouldn't actually, like, like if things didn't pan out, then it wouldn't actually matter that much. Uh, but for me, I was like. Like, I want to make sure I have something going on for the reunion. Like, it doesn't have to be, like, anything in particular, but just, like, I am doing something. <laughs> uh, so, so, so after uh, my plan to, to, to get the PhD ended up before that, I was like, okay, I just, I want to have, like, a thing that I'm working on. And then I can see, like, I, I am working on something. And they had a seven-year one? Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. No, I'm, I'm done looking at... Did we find anything on his body? I feel like... I mean, I wasn't really paying attention, but... I feel like there were no clues. Uh, but yeah, no, I've been... I, I, I've been kind of going back and forth for a while about whether or not to attend a reunion. Um, but, I mean, I, I feel like I ultimately settled on, like, why not if I'm in the area? Um, but my initial, like, reservations were just... Everyone that I want to see, I already do see, and then everyone that I would like to see that I don't normally see have mostly moved from California and I don't see them coming back. So it'd be like, let's hang out with the people that I always hang out with and a couple of people that I don't know <laughs> or like hardly recognize. Uh, but, but I think eventually I was like, oh, I, I feel like there's a couple of people that maybe would be in the area um, and, and maybe I'll, I'll take a a hint from from Laura and actively reach out to people that I want to see and tell them like please come army surplus again a colder must have been moving no I would never go with you absolutely not Well, I think she didn't do that, but she wanted to. She said she regretted not reaching out to people. Uh, because then I think she, she reached out to people afterwards or something and, um, and and found out that they didn't go because they thought no one else would go. And she's like, oh, I should have just, I should have told people, hey, please come. I will be there. <laughs> Let's do something. And I was like, oh, that, that's a good idea. I should reach out to, to people that I don't, that I would like to see, but I don't see normally. These look brand new. Never fired. I haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. This guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? He wasn't hunting for a bear. Army he was surplus hunting for morphine, a BAR. army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? 
We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. Cool Ridge Heist. Meet with robbery detectives. New location, police station. Okay. Before we talk to them, I want to see if there's anything else. Um, so I may be two thirds done with Fire Emblem Three Houses, and I won't s spoil anything. But I think I'm gonna end up with the the unpopular opinion that I don't rounds. love it, <laughs> which Certainly feels like heretical message. to say because everyone loves it, and I think there's a lot of things that are good about it. But I also have played a lot of other Fire Emblem games that I've liked a lot more, um, and I feel bad saying that because. I, I came into it really expecting that I would love it and really hoping that I would love it. Um, and then it ended up being like, that's, this is good. The first one that I played. But my favorite is uh, Path of Radiance and its sequel, Radiant Dawn, which no one likes Radiant Dawn, but another they're all day, wrong. Another day, um, And then Awakening was also really good. Um, I think my my issue with Three Houses is very similar to my issue with open world games. Not that Three Houses is an open world game, but it kind of has some of the same flaws, where it's just... There's just so much to do, and a lot of it's not fun. <laughs> and But then the structure of the game makes me feel like I need to do everything, because... Try to crack the um, safe. You have like a limited amount of time in your your like weekly tasks that you can do um so it, it just like mechanically it just feels like you should use all of the time that you have uh even if you don't want to it's like well i have two more activity points so i might as well spend those activity points grinding even though i don't want to grind but if i don't spend it i'm gonna feel like i i wasted those activity points um yeah, so there's just there's just too much to do, and it's, and all the optional stuff isn't really that interesting. And luck, Eddie. Okinawa couldn't kill you, but knowing the wrong people in this city. Whereas I think um, the the Fire Emblem games that I like more, uh, even if they are, you know, like a little more outdated mechanically, um, I think they benefit from being relatively linear stories, uh, because the, the story makes sense then, and you're not bogged down by an additional fifteen hours of of, of random meaningless content. It's just, you're telling a good story. Uh, but also Byleth is a really boring character. Um, and I get that Byleth is kind of boring on purpose. Um, both for like the story and also because they're the player avatar. But that's also one of the reasons that I, I think I like uh, uh, other Fire Emblem games like uh, uh, Path of Radiance or Awakening. It's your main character still has a personality. Ma'am, I'm Detective Because they have a plot Ministry line. They're not just like plot. a vehicle for Welcome you to roleplay. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. That was so seductive. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. Why do you have to say everything like that? <laughs> Why? Why? That seems... You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. When she tells the truth, she just stares stone-faced. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, Matt. Eddie was in over his head. 
But he was a decent boss. Eddie was a good man. We just don't like losing men under my command. It's too bad I'll never see if Jenkins comes back in a surprise twist in Mass Effect Andromeda. Well maintained. Custom case. Honestly, I, I, actually, I should probably tell way. Jason because he bought it for me. <laughs> and see if he can get his money back or something. Do I need? There we go. Okay. Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. Surely you should make it harder to get in than just putting the three pins where they are. Because then what if you actually need to store hand. the tuba? Then you're just going to open the side thing every time you need to store the three components of the tuba? Well, at least make you mix it up or something. We should follow up on the musician, I Okay, hope. so the blue room, I think, is the, the... the woman, the jazz singer. You catch all the good ones, Phelps. Could you not step on... Roy, could you not step on the trophy case? The trumpet? Roy. Thank you. Roy. Why is your foot there? Why, why have you, why are you like straddling this case? Is it, he's posing on the briefcase. Stefan, come with me instead. I got friends who work at the Uh, hold on. What is this? Sorry, I got a text. Okay. Texting on the job. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's a cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you Why think. Why is that woman jaywalking across a six-lane street? Normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up. Goddamn maniac! I think he got mixed up. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off. Oh god. Son of a bitch! Everything's fine. Stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Who is Brenda? Brenda is LA's most famous madam. Everyone knows it. Of course, I don't know. Knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Wow, I like how Joe Citizen's wife doesn't Every even get a name. It's Joe Citizen and his wife. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. I don't like my suit. I think I might change my suit. Harry. You got a minute? Sure, Cole. Anytime. 
You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons, crate of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect okay, the docks to the manifest to the mess with the 111 Club? Uh, we're here to look at the records from the Los Angeles Port Authority. Um, as you can see from our manifest, um, all aliens arriving at a port of continental United States from a foreign port or in part of the insular possessions of the United States, and all aliens arriving at a port of said insular possessions from a foreign port, a port of continental United States, or a port of another insular possession in whatsoever class they travel must be fully listed, and the master or commanding officer of each vessel carrying such passengers must upon arrival deliver lists uh, thereof to the immigration officer. This white uh, object is for the listing of marine passengers and inventory only. Um, so we're going to go check in a couple of people here. So we got Michael Driscoll. We got David Hendricks. Thomas Statham, Felix Alvaro, Albert Reading, Leo Epstein, Edward McGoldrick, uh, Walter Beckett, Jack Kelso, uh, Courtney Sheldon, Christopher Majewski, John Higgins, I can't get John Higgins, John Higgins, John Higgins, Patrick Connolly, I'm surprised that um, Cole didn't have anything to say about Jack Kelso. Really, Jack Kelso, nothing. No dialogue. Nothing at all for Jack Kelso. Okay, fine. Um, so they were going to, they board on Shanghai, and they went to San Pedro. Uh, so here we see the ship manifest of passengers and goods. So we got a M1928 AL. Enough to arm three companies. M1918. I can't click it. There we go. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Valor cigarette carton. This is the crate we recovered. Morphine tartrate. It's nice of them for them to circle everything for us. Half a million cigarettes loose on the streets of LA. Some of these guys are from my old unit. Oh, now he wants to say something about Kelso. Kelso, Sheldon. McGoldrick. McGoldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. McGoldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscles. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the I hub. read that as are Thanks, getting Harry. musical <laughs> instead of this. muscled, which would have been a more interesting case, to be honest. Okay, this is my chance to change my outfit. Mm. Okay, this is kind of a nice blue. God, this, this high-waisted look does not look great on him. Okay, I think we're going with this, this nice blue, this light blue. I think his hat should be a different color, but um, you can't always get what you want. Oh, that's uh, not where you want to go. LAPD, police emergency. Oh, one goddamn ding. Uh, let's go to the police station first. Oh, wait, no, we're at the police station. Let's not go to the police station. I know where I am. I'm a good cop.
I realized uh, I need to get... So I'm going to be using some, some LNR footage uh, for my lesson on digital cities. Um, and I realized I need to get some footage of decent driving. <laughs> because they're not going to hear the audio, so it doesn't matter what I'm saying. But I, I need to not have my only footage of driving be recklessly crashing into things. So I'm going to try to have some okay driving footage right here. Oh my god. I'm already losing my patience. Okay, there we go. We're just driving at a normal rate to show off the architecture and throw, show off the recreation of Los Angeles and we had to alter uh, for the medium. And this is a normal, safe driving speed. This is a little slow actually, let's speed up a little bit. We have to make this turn well. We're a little close to the median line, but it's okay. Come on, red light. Oh, that, that car is a bad driver. That car was driving like me. What are you- why is every car now acting weird? Stop that. Okay. Good turn. Good turns. Good turns. What- what is that car doing? What is happening? It's- we have a green light. Stop. Oh my god, it's a red light again. That car just ran a red light- <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna make this turn and it's gonna look great. Okay. Green car, get, get out of here, green car. Get out of here, green car. Oh my god, pedestrians. Jesus. Stop. You, you gotta fucking T bone me. Okay, so that'd be a nice shot. We got the little, the, um, the, uh, why am I not able to say words? The cable car. Although it'd be better if we were moving while we saw the cable car, because it's a static shot. I just went over the curb. Okay, that wasn't great. But that's fine. We'll try again later. We'll see if we can get some better, some better driving footage later. Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lichtman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. Oh my God, Roy! What we care about is two Roy. tons of violence, surplus <laughs> morphine showing up on the street. You can street. just—you can just not talk. If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bow. I mean, at Other least I appreciate that Roy Tyree is honest. And, and this is your idea but of making inquiries. Enough that that's much of a comfort. Florida. I've told you a thousand times about speaking. Actually, you're right. That is a really good clip. Off. The problem is, I think I talk over it. How about you get a drink <laughs> while I see this? Well, you know, I think I probably just reacted after he said it, so I can probably get a clean clip of just the uh, just the actual dialogue. Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. Okay, yeah, so maybe this is where he meets her, maybe you're right. Um, let's People see if it goes are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. She has some great eyebrows. I'm very bad at drawing eyebrows. Um... So whenever I see good eyebrows, I'm like, God. 
I'm not looking to arrest users. I'm after the supply. That was you good cop? Get it, good you? cop was yelling that? Some people can't live without heroin. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years Oh, ago. that was really easy. He loved him. I don't know anything. Tell me! Okay, so here are the details. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against Nagodic? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Which I do Earth by works. threatening deportations yeah. to people that I interview. Words are just words, Colfax. She's right. We need to pay a visit. He already talks to her like he knows her. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. I know they've met before because I know he, he walked into I her. Do. Partner. He, he walked into uh, her, um, like Roy, before Roy was a partner, took us into her dressing room. And he introduced himself, and she's like, "No, fuck you." But but I don't think that they've actually spoken to each other since then. And I feel like they're 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 setting up something interesting where, um, like she kind of calls him out on his shit, and and maybe becomes a foil to show him, like the limits of of what he can do, and. How, how much he can like change the institution. Not that he's really trying very hard to change the institution, but you know what I mean. Because uh, we're supposed to think Phelps is a good person. So so I feel like they're doing some interesting groundwork, but uh, unless they've added stuff since, or I just don't remember, I feel like they don't do anything with it. Like, she doesn't actually get to challenge him later in the story. We can't use Just that turn. Now oh, this is sort of a, a decent shot. Move in. At risk losing the trail. What do you mean? We're like right behind her. You're gonna, gonna get us caught. Okay, there we go. What's that face, Phelps? Why is he... Oh no! Are you gonna cheat? Are you gonna cheat on Stefan? Is that what's happening? Is that why you look so disturbed? Did you change that fast? Oh, oh wait! Wait a sec! Oh, oh! Have you have you done that before? Wait, it, 
Because she does not seem surprised. What the? Why did then? Why did we not see this ahead of? Why? And then why did we have to silently tail her? This is Roy yelling at the writers of this game for not for for for, for not setting things up that he was supposed to set up. LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch What was here. that? There's you can't just do colors. that. <laughs> Which table? Number three. If you'll it's follow like, me. It's like they skipped four scenes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He can hook up with her some other time when it's not so suspicious. When she's not Sorry. literally, like, we didn't Mr. just Cohen's interview her. Is this what? And, 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 and if they were going to say that this is not the first time they hooked up, we should have seen the first time they hooked up. LAPD. We have some questions Hi, regarding. Mickey. How's it hanging? Fine, just yeah, fine. Everyone's cutting each other off. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Me, Johnny Stompanato, Cole. Oh. Me, Johnny Stompanato. Hollywood and the smallest gun, or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman too, Cole. Johnny was at Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Are you going to stand but around and meet while my lunch talking about a We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. He looks constipated. Um, I don't know if we can prove that he knew anything, except maybe the man. Let's just see what happens if he say accused. Jack Gragna has you on the run. You're muscling the guys who stole the morphine from the ship. You calling me a liar, kid? You think you can prove that in court? Huh? No, I actually don't think I can. Sorry. My mistake. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the ship. Sorry, my mistake. Lenny, so what the God fuck are you doing? was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. A simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. Yeah, could could we you wait until we're out of the building no before of you're like, hey, so that dope that we said we didn't have, we got to get rid of it. They're going to find us out. We'll see. Detectives, KGPL is going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go. I want to make homicide.
Ooh, ooh, this this fast music, it means we're gonna have a chase that I'm gonna be really bad at. I can't even get around this building, so... <laughs> Oh god, our car is not even here. Where's our car? Oh, this isn't his Look car? Out! I thought his car had the police siren, but I guess not. Oh god, okay, none of this footage is usable. Oh god. You idiot! Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, look at that skill driving, look except for going. that. Full of advice, aren't you? Stop raising your head, oh my god. You can, you can like, crawl without sticking your head up of the window when you're leaving the bus. Run! Run faster! I hope I'm supposed to go around the back. I... Here we go, okay. How is Roy shouting that far? LAPD, drop the gun now! We should not announce ourselves before we're, like, on solid ground. I like how he just ran up the stair, the ladder, and just stared at me, <laughs> with no, with no dialogue. Hmm, strong jawline. Alvaro Road number and restaurant table. Hollywood and Sunset between 12 and 2, CL 234. Ah, he likes CL, a man of taste. Macombo tables.
Nope, not his face. I wanted his arm. M one nine one eight A one. Wow, this gun is only thirty calories. That's a that's a steal. I know that guy, Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now. I shouldn't have laughed, but I did. Who's the joke <laughs> It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bust. And then cops turned up and start treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. Wow. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. Uh, cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. He's kind of cute. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Yeah, I was literally thinking the same thing. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. <laughs> it was a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? Felix, we didn't go through Okinawa to come back to this on our streets. I've got the LAPD to keep me safe, right? Me and all my people. We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. Sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying a story? Not for a minute. Oh, wait, hold on. We need, we need to go on the phone. We need to go on the phone. Hello? There we go. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Thanks. How can I help detective? She knows he's not a lieutenant. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, can I can I ride the ambulance? I'm gonna ride the tractor. Jesus, Cole, what's wrong with a good old fashioned black and white? Yeah. Yeah. Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. Let's go visit Kelso's we apartment him and, and we can him take him out of his ambulance. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Phelps! That's the shot I'm gonna use. Ambulance hitting the cable car. This is everything you need to know about LA. I like the cops there standing by the ambulance looking kind of surprised. No. No, oh, no, no, oh no. my god, this is what happens when you text and you drive. Did not just do that. I was looking at chat, and then a man appeared on the side. I am so sorry. Open your eyes! You, you should go get your briefcase. You are... He 
He can hop in the back if he's hurt. If this is close, we'll do it. It's on the opposite side, we're not doing it. You gotta give me street crimes that I can actually get on the way. Thank God we're not in my car. What does it even do for your Razor score? Oh yeah, the, the street crimes I think are just like purely optional. Uh, but they're... I don't think they like do anything for you in terms of score. They're just like fun. And I honestly like them, it's just, every time I get one, they're like nine years away. And like, I don't want to get to get Hello, to a street Jack. crime that's going to take two minutes to finish and then drive all the way back. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, well, he's kind of cute, too. If you come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? Who does he look like? all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. Is that, wait, is that Kelso? I don't remember him looking like that. Cut the crap. You pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small Yeah, he does look kind of you. soft in a way that I find appealing. Actually, I think he looks like someone I knew in college. I don't remember Kelso looking like that. Okay, see that picture looks a little more like him. But with the hat, I feel like it, it makes him look younger and baby-faced. Do you know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. Actually, he kind of looks like Adrian Brody. Is that his name? The, the, the guy in, like, teen shows? Um, nope, Adrian Brody is not who I'm thinking of. Um... What is that guy? What's that guy's name? Uh, I'm just gonna look up like CW actors. <laughs> um, okay, not you. Not you. No. I just have this like picture perfect image of this person that I, I cannot for the life of me figure out. You what okay, his name Phelps? is, or what he's in. Standing around, doing nothing? You look shell-shocked. No, I'm just trying to figure out which guy you look like. Give me a sec. Is he an entourage? Is that who I'm thinking of? Yeah, I think, actually, yeah. Adrian Grenier, I think. Adrian Grenier. Okay, so I got the first name right. But but only when he has, like, longer curly hair a little bit. That That's what I think he looks like. Uh, sorry, what was the question, Jack? I was not listening to you. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. Oh, he is in The what Devil happened? Wears Prada. Okay, that's what I know really from. you think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. Uh, Want to take a guess where he got hold of the cash? Not really. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I am now also realizing that Carlos from Resident Evil 3 Remake was extremely attractive, kind of looks like this Adrian guy. Okay, now I gotta look up Carlos. Carlos... RE3. I can kind of see it. I feel like he could use a little bit of a haircut, but yeah, I can see it. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of shaggy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for me, it's just it's just the like, it's just kind of like very like oddly shaped. Like it, it's just a lot like too much you of okay, his, his head. Standing around doing nothing. Uh, sorry, Jack. I have not. Al I've also not listened to what you said. Um, I'm just going to accuse you. You're not a good liar, Jack. I know you want to help your guys, but this has gone too far. If you believe I had anything to do with the theft of the BARs or the morphine, for that matter, I suggest you produce some evidence. 
Um, I think this, the little manifest. I've had nope. enough of this. You're wasting my time. What do you know about the army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. He looks like he's about to cry. Who is opening and closing doors constantly? People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. Cole only has one interrogation technique, and it's just start screaming in the middle of your sentence. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Ooh, trying we to got an outfit. For, this for what? Shit Look at this chump. Oh, for $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majowski. Another name from the manifest? Okay, so I get that that is related to the case because we know that person. But how did that random man know that? More friends of yours are going to get plugged today. Like, he just, he just opened the door to an interrogation room and didn't know we were done and just yelled, There's been a shooting. You need to go. Here's the victim's name. There goes a week's Nailed wages. It. Talk about tension. That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know I mean, how to handle that smug son of I a bitch. I would love to leave anything to Jack you, will never give up his own men. you literally don't do anything, Roy, so... Any in the vicinity officer needs assistance, 1825 North Highland Avenue, 1825 North High We're going to see if that's close. Uh, oof. Oh my god. It is not close. It's over here. We are down here. And this is our destination. Why? You're paying for every last scratch. Be able to get through that. Nope. Okay, we're still having some trouble. Nope. Are you crazy? Most okay. informative. We're Thank just you. gonna we're just gonna ease around this tree. There we go. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers. They went that way. Wow. They oh, they really have not left yet. I'm surprised that you had the the guts to. uh incriminate them while they're standing right there with guns. Uh, uh, it's lucky that there is no one here. I can't take the shot from here, Cole! Well, that sounds like a you problem. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps! I mean, the target is there, you're just a bad shot. God, police, get out of the way. Oh, wait, wait a second. Did we pass it? Oh, oh, sorry, we passed him. Okay, we gotta go back. 
Where is he? Where'd it go? I see the red dot, but I don't see the car. Oh, there's the car. Okay, got it. Can you shoot him? Can you shoot him now? Can we run over that cop's head? Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. I want to see if we can run over that cop's head. gonna turn slightly. There we go. Okay, yeah, I think we can do it. Just right over there. There we go. Perfect. Nailed it. Keep moving. This is the footage you should use. You know, they used to have stuff in their hands, and now I just, I'm just looking at everyone's hands, and there's never anything. Mickey's meeting 9 p.m. at Sheldon News tonight. View Building. Sheldon, mid twenties, five ten, dark hair. Someone really went to town with this red marker. PD file. Michael Driscoll. We have a traitor in our midst. Uh, All of the names Higgins. on the list have a hit team assigned to them. John Higgins. Patrick Connolly. Uh, and then these other names we don't care about apparently. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. Oh, ready for a side quest that doesn't do anything? We have to look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. District Attorney. Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl, detective, administrative vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop, a hero from the war, who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed oh. America for a German junkie. Oh, oh, so maybe, maybe I just LAPD. missed this thing. But then, if and this is important, they the shouldn't public. have made it a side, a random we optional serve. side thing. It'd be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So, what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer. For fingering? Uh, we didn't say anything about fingering. Uh, I, I mean, like, it's... It's like... 
Like it's there for you to find, so you're probably gonna find it because it's part of the case, but you don't have to look at the newspapers, so I feel like it's pretty easy to miss it. This man is, at least to get the fun death pose, he's like a little frog. I can't even look at his body. But yeah, I, I don't remember seeing that. Um, but at least that fills in some of the blanks. But it doesn't answer the questions of uh, why don't we ever get to meet Phelps' wife and daughter why? to give them some care. How does that get them the dough? Why don't we ever know, know ahead of time me, that, uh, excuse me everyone, please get out of my way. Uh, well, why don't we get to see ahead of time his relationship with Elsa and how that develops. And, and the guilt that he feels when he, you know, goes home and sees the rest of his family. Like, why? Why why don't why, why don't we do any of that? I don't understand. Uh, and then also, like, Elsa seems like an interesting character. If she's, like, challenging him and pushing back on him. Like, I want to see more of her. I want to know what their relationship is like. I hope that was who you wanted to get. <laughs> what if Getting that was just some random to person? Off the tar. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. Oh my god, could you not run towards the car speeding? No good, we need to get closer. How much closer do you want me to fucking get? Oh my god. I can't take the shot from here, Cole! We are like right next to them. If you can't take the shot, that is your problem. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. I, like, directly on top of him. What do you want, Roy? What do you want? Do you want me to go inside of him? You were talking about fingering me before. Way to set an example for the public, partner. You're welcome. Wait, are we really gonna shoot each other at point blank range? What is this? Did, did you wait to get out of the car? So did you wait to get out of the car so we'd be there so we could shoot each other standing outside of our cars at point blank range? That was a mess. I should have let Roy die in that theater. Wait, were we supposed to look at clues back there? <laughs> Give me a sec. I just, I just moved to the next destination. Were there clues there? Oop, that's not the way I'm turning. What's wrong with you? Don't push me. I don't think I see any clues. Why you? Don't push Isn't me. I'll show you. Don't talking push about me. on the radio? Yeah, yeah. I am the cop that they talk about on the radio, and I don't take any shit.
Wow. Oh, okay, that the looks guy's like had you. enough. Okay, I don't see anything. All right, we're just gonna go. Sir, step out of the car, please. Be LAPD. careful with it, copper. Oh, I forgot. I think I forgot to clip the last time I played. Oh well. Cause I was just thinking of that time that I, I, I didn't even touch someone and she just died. That, like I, I was, I was walking. And I accidentally bumped slightly into her while not running, and then she Thank just falls God down. Thank God we're and dies. not in my car. Uh, it might be too late. I'll go check because I think that it's only up for like two weeks, right? I feel like it's been longer since I played, but I will see. Uh, yeah, I, I export to, um, to, uh, YouTube. Uh, oh, oh, hopefully. If it's a month, it should be fine. That's a nice suit. But there's always that one cop that- I think that's the same cop that gets shot and dies every time. He just wants to get out of doing work. I'm immune if I'm just crouching, even if I'm close. Oh, um, 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 that car, this car was not here when I came here and that black car crashed into my car and almost ran me over and definitely ran over that man. So... <laughs> um... Are you okay? Ooh, okay. That was bad. That, that time it wasn't my fault though. That was not my poor driving. That was someone else's poor driving. Throw out the guns! Oh god, he's alive! Oh Jesus, I was like, why are his eyes open? Bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. Oh my god, it was worth he's, a try. he's just talking to me! And I'm like, picking up his hands and like, examining everything. <laughs> he like, doesn't even have the decency to wait till he's dead before he's like, let me move your head around. Over Bear Ice Company. <laughs> really did it. Wonder whether it was worth it. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Oh, no, I already looked at this hand. Oh god, okay. Apparently I cannot look at his and so there's nothing in his jacket is what we're saying. There's nothing in his jacket, okay. Oh, that blood just appeared on the ground just now.
Nope, we can't look at his arms. Okay, now we can look at his arms, as soon as I say we can't. Okay, um, Roy, could you not? Meeting with Conan like Sheldon, Sheldon 1640 North. I mean, if this is the same group of people, Juice, I mean, this is the same group of people Golden, that are shooting everyone up, but like, that's, guys. that's extreme efficiency. Up in this thing. Within one day, you're just going to place to place to place Not to... everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole. Aww. The police officer's gone from under our car. This isn't looking good. Ooh, I feel this like car is drifting the left. Of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. This car, this car is bad. This car is like a Nintendo Joy-Con. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. Stop. I don't want to go left. The nice thing is I, I was able to make a very, a very sharp turn left though because it was already drifting left. Give you some goddamn. You're excuse me. Uh oh, that car is coming. Some cover. Did you really get out of the car slowly so you could shoot us? Like you could have like drove cover. by and shot us while you were driving. But I could. They drove and then parked and then turned off the engine and then got out of the car and then ran and, got, and then started shooting at us. I'm wide open here. Whose fault is that, Roy? You could not be wide open. Get in cover! Put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APL to Car 11K. Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. 11 K, go to Hollywood Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11 K. I'll take that as a Roger. Yeah, Roy. Right. 11 King on route. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. You're, ta you're taking up um, <laughs> radio space. Oh god, this car is still Christ in bad shape. This is a nightmare. Um. Well, okay, there he goes running. So I do need to get Red Dead Redemption 2 footage at some I'm point. I'm going to have to ask you to get out of the car. Um, now. And I did really enjoy playing Red Dead Redemption 2, so I think tentatively I'm just going to play it again. But I will reserve the the decision to say I'm just gonna <laughs> skip to the end <laughs> and just get the footage I need to get rather than play it all again if it ends up being tedious. The nice thing is, from what I remember, the part where Red Dead gets really tedious is after the part where I need to get the footage, so I can always just stop at that point. 
The only problem is the part where I need to get the footage is quite a ways into the game. Um, but I did, I did enjoy it, so. Roy, in my like, I think the city I need to get I'm the footage from is, like, slightly after the halfway point. Have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. Wow, Cole's little shit-eating grin. I think those bites you're in interview too, Phelps. There's a quack in there with it. What gives? Beats me. Word came down from the chief. Said it was okay. Uh, interview two, interview two. Is this way? Uh, that's the office. Um, interview room two is this way. I, I work here. I know where everything like is. a nice boy, putting all those food Staff only. Uh, patrol. Where's in I saw interview one. Where's interview two? That's not it either. Yeah, that's interview room one. Patrol. I didn't deserve that. You didn't deserve what? Oh, so, <laughs> I'm just, here it is. <laughs> is this your attorney? No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Yeah, it's Tuda the people. Mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student. Sheldon's also got a strong a jawline. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation. I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're training to be a ah. doctor, Courtney. How do you justify all of these deaths? You're supposed to want to save people. Before you get on your high horse, I saved my fair share in Peleliu and Okinawa. My conscience is clear. How do you sleep at night? That is such an unflattering picture of him. Like, Phelps, what did, what did he do to you to deserve that sketch of him? Just the center part is so much more pronounced than it is in his real life. You've drawn, you know, the shading so that his eyes look super deep set. He has such a huge forehead. Like, he does not look like that in real life. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Why is he moving like Gullah? Have Gullum? you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? His hands don't are really small. Son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor. Okay, could you not you. barge in? Oh my God. Upstairs in my office now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. 
I mean, could we not have had this conversation in private? Even if you're just going to let him off for nothing, just say like, hey, we need to talk to you immediately. Something Certainly happened. Had us full, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And of your badging gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Oh, your this is the Elsa thing. has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. Your Boy, this would sure hit harder if we shot. knew his wife and child kind of and also felt. knew that this adultery was happening sooner than five minutes ago. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you Why thinking? did they not introduce this earlier? If they plus if they had introduced it earlier and like your other partners knew about it, then it would it would like spark some some intrigue about like who ratted on me, which one of these people that I care about told on me, and then you find out it's Roy, because of course it's Roy, but Marie, listen, Marie, oh, I, need to I just learned her name is Marie. Leave. We have multiple girls? I thought we had daughters. one daughter. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? I don't know, like, like, what are your hobbies? What's your favorite food? Like, let's get Did to you? know each other a little bit. What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this is? So, like, how many them? children do we have? My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. Your father has money to hire an attorney? I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole. Can I, can I at least see what the inside of her house looks like? I don't know. Oh, oh, that's a way to make us not seem like a criminal. <laughs> Just pretend you're gonna shoot this photographer. <laughs> like, why? Why is this- why is this the first case that this is happening? And the, the game is long, too. It's not even like it's a short game and they didn't have time to set it up. This game is, like, too long. <laughs> okay. At least she didn't kick him out, I guess. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, but it's also, it's weird that, like, she was interviewed in this... I mean, I just, I'm never gonna get over how poorly this whole situation is handled. Like, I just, the first time that we interview her is, is right when the plot is important enough for her to get, like, right in the center of things. It's just, why? I... Ah. Uh, I'm gonna eat dinner after this, so I'll just finish this cutscene. The gas man. It's like happy. Um. Okay, I was like, am I supposed to do something, or...? Okay, everyone! Keep it down! Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? 
Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps! Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? My feet are already yes, on sir. the ground. We don't want a fucking rat like Phelps, can it, Tilden? Phelps. I'm Why am I a rat? Like, I, see, I'm... I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just see, fine. What I like, Biggs I get the. Uh... Ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long then. Start with these two. Yeah, I also I don't remember this this partner, but I do remember South getting Kenmore demoted. Avenue. So I don't know what's Stephens happening. Family Maybe I just forgot. Um, then go to. 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. See, Fire what I don't get is, like, I get that the, the, the people, are like, the bosses guy? are That's upset that he broke policy out, officially. Detective. What I don't get buy is that all of these Both other of officers that have shown that they're, get like, out. very misogynistic, like, have some serious problem with Phelps uh committing adultery with some german woman like I, I i don't buy that they'd be like wow that's so bad you're awful and instead wouldn't be you know gross and chauvinistic about it um anyway uh that's the, i'm gonna call it a day I'm gonna go eat dinner but thanks for watching